Hi everyone, my name is Daria. I'm a student nurse and welcome to my channel. So I hope you're loving the natural look I'm giving today. Honestly, I'm just between hairstyles, but um, yeah, I tried this head wrap. This is new. This like, I, you know, I just found how to do it on Pinterest and I kind of like it. But anyway, because y'all are here for the nursing tea, y'all are not here for my beauty trials, but I just felt the need to share. Um, so today's video is going to be about my undergrad experience versus my nursing school experience. So I've been reflecting a lot because it is officially one year in my nursing program and there, it's just so different. So obviously, um, if your nursing, your nursing school experience is your first experience with college, that's totally different. That means that that nursing is your undergrad. But for me, nursing was not my undergrad. For me, my bachelor's in biology at SUNY Albany was my undergrad. And I'm repping my alma mater today. Um, I actually, like, I love this sweater. I took my graduation photos in the sweater and everything. Maybe I'll, like, post a picture somewhere during the video. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm not going to be giving like the bad parts of SUNY Albany because I wonder if I could get sued. So we're not going to do that today. Today we're going to focus on the positives and the differences. And if you have any questions about uh, SUNY Albany, then just message me privately. But anyway, so a lot of the times I've been feeling like, oh, that was an accident. <laughs> Um, I've been feeling like uh, one of the main differences between my nursing and my, um, I'm just going to call it bachelor's for the rest of the video. My nursing and my bachelor's is I feel kind of lonely. Like um, um, I did dorm at SUNY Albany. I was not a commuter currently for my nursing program. I am a commuter and I don't know. I just, it just feels lonely. Like I used to go to the library with people and um we used to have hangout spots. We used to get lunch together and stuff like that. And it's just not like that in the program I am in currently. And maybe because I am in a CUNY school. And um, a lot of us are older. A lot of people have families. They, you know, they already have careers. Maybe this is their, like, branching into their second career. So it's just a different dynamic. And um, it does feel kind of lonely. Because even if you were to do study groups and stuff. I haven't done a study group uh, yet. But I know, like, obviously you can do study groups anytime. It's like you're going to campus, you're studying, and you're leaving. It's not like you're having lunch, you're not there to joke around, like, you're there to study. So, I don't know, it does feel kind of lonely. I mean, I loved dorming, I loved my roommates, um, so I miss that a little bit. Whatever. Um, okay, on to my second actually no if you i have a question if you guys feel like nursing school is lonely let me know i will say that i don't have any like toxic drama or anything like that that i've seen people have no we don't have that i just can't say that i found like um a super close friend that i've connected with in my nursing program and don't get me wrong i love the people i'm in my program with it's just a different type of connection because when you're dorming those people are your family for I don't know, like three months that you're dorming. Well, actually the whole year that you're dorming, those people are your family and you see them more than you see your family. So it's just an interesting dynamic. Now on to the second difference. Now this may be because me, because I'm taking the nursing program way more serious, but um, I do not party. Mm -mm, I don't party how I used to. Now, if you know anything about SUNY Omni, and I graduated SUNY Omni 2020, so right before the pandemic really got started. So um, I'm sure it's a different now. What do I know? I'm old. Like, I'm old. But during that time, like, the parties were, you know, huge. Um, so I used to be partying, going to school, trying to finish homework and all that. And, um... You cannot do that in this program, so I will say that my social life has very, like, toned down a lot. Um, I don't really go to parties. I honestly don't even go out with my closest friends. So my closest friends, we all still live around each other, but um, I don't even really go out with them because 
I realized in undergrad, I realized this in undergrad, okay, y'all? So, going to parties and stuff like that kind of disrupts your flow. So, like, it was not good for my grades to kind of, like, be partying and then try and pick up school because honestly it would take me a couple of days to recover from partying um so now because I'm taking this so much more serious I don't really party I don't like anything that will disrupt my focus or my flow um so I do not party and even if I wanted to party I don't even know who I would talk to because it's just so different being a commuter at a CUNY it's like I don't have any friends outside of the nursing program in my program. Like nobody's, I don't know. Like I think that because we all wanted friends. Um, my at SUNY we all wanted friends. We were all kind of far from home for the most part. We all just wanted to be friendly and meet people. It's not like this here. Like all of us at CUNY kind of want to get to our class and go back home and get to our. I guess, quote unquote, real friends, real life. Um, so yeah, it's just different. So no partying for me. Um, do I miss partying? Um, because I'm 24 now, no. Had I been 19, this had been my first uh, college experience, I think I would have been pretty bummed, uh, pretty sad about the social life thing, but I don't care now. Now I'm old, I'm just trying to get to the bag trying to get my degree get to the bag and start a career but um yeah that's a big difference I've seen uh okay so loneliness social life I'm trying to think if there's anything that's been on my mind um that has kind of like jumped out at me while I think about and reflect on my time and yeah the, the biggest things I have to say is the loneliness and the social life random the free stuff when I tell you that my school used to give out free stuff every week just because they really gave out free stuff every week just because um only free stuff I've gotten so far from CUNY is the food pantry which is great we love free food food pantry but they don't give out any gear they don't give out any merch like just free stuff just because so and part of me thinks that's because of the orgs so when I was in SUNY Albany i there are a lot of orgs on campus, and I was also involved in some orgs. Um, stilettos, hey, my uh, it's a dance team that we dance. We use we dance in heels. Well, I used to dance in heels. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't dance in heels anymore. I'm just saying I used to. Okay, I used to be on a team called Stilettos. Hey, girls. Um, and some other orgs I was a part of, and you know we would all table outside and give things and have sales and. And then um, student association would give out free stuff. It was just so many things giving out free stuff. And I miss that. Like, where's where's the free shirts? Where's everything? Like, where's the boosting? You know, I need the morale. What's going on? But I'm thinking that's because CUNYs don't need you to stay on campus. Like, a part of the appeal was, I mean, part of the reason SUNY did that was to appeal to people to come back and stay on campus and stuff like that. And it worked. Um, but yeah, so no more free stuff, guys. And free, and I was there, I promise you. I pretty I pretty much got every free thing that I could get. Um, so I miss the free things. Um Yeah, there's not really much. I mean, of course there's different there's a uh, way more differences, but those I feel like these are the main things. Um if you, if this is your second degree, please comment below if you've seen differences between your first and your second. I think overall undergrad is a lot more fun, a lot more carefree, and I kind of miss the carefree part of it, but you can't be, you can't have everything, you can't have your cake and eat it too, right? Like you can't be working towards a career and having so, all that fun where your grades start slipping because I'm not gonna lie all the partying for me did come at a cost um I still got my degree C's to get degrees but um I went from an A student in high school to being okay with C's in undergrad and I just am not I will not settle for that this time around because I'm so much better than that I'm so much more mature also and that's part of the reason why I didn't go right into nursing is because I wasn't mature enough to 
first of all wasn't mature enough to have someone's hands in my life wasn't mature enough to take the material seriously and you know that's okay you have to be honest with yourself but um yeah what a time y'all what a time um super short video today i didn't really want to go on and on and on about my experiences i just wanted to kind of share that there is such a big difference so if you feel like you don't want to do nursing for undergrad that's okay take your time um you may not have to take as much time as i did but i needed that time um if i had to go back would i go back to would i do omni again yeah i would um there are some things in albany that i wouldn't have done like i don't know i just took organizations way too freaking seriously like i was in 50 million trying to be the best in all of them and unnecessary really i hate to be that person but i look back and i'm like what did that org really do for me um yeah but uh Overall, I had a great time. I still talk to all of my, most of all of my roommates. And um, I just had a beautiful experience. So, like I said, super short video today. Just wanted to get on here and chat with you guys. And um, let you know the differences that I've had. Because, I, like I said, my first full year in nursing school. And now I'm, like, reflecting, like, dang, I was kind of lonely this year. Like, kind of going through the motions on my own. But like I said, you know, you'd have your clinical members and stuff. And um, so I'm not saying I was on my own thugging it out. I'm just saying like it's a totally different um, experience dorming with roommates and meeting people in the library and having that camaraderie as opposed to, um, you know, you're there to just get good grades. You're there to study with each other. So it's not necessarily lifelong friendships, but I'm not out of the program yet, so I can't speak to that. I can't say I haven't made a lifelong connection. Um, I'm just saying it's very different. Um, so, yeah, comment below. Let me know if you uh, have, if this is nursing is your first degree, if it's not your first degree, if you're noticing differences. Um, I'd be so happy to hear from you guys. And we are at 80 subscribers, y'all. <laughs> So welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you, all my new subscribers, all my new subscribers. Thank you for, excuse me, subscribing and following me along on my journey. If there's anything you'd like to see, please feel free to comment below. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hey y'all, I'm too lazy to turn on the light. So we're gonna, just gonna have to deal with the dim, but. Took exam three today, just got the score 78. I mean, I'm annoyed like this is the first 70 in the nursing program that I've gotten including last semester and like I'm trying not to be hard on myself but I am upset but I did some numbers and whatever hopefully um this gives me the motivation I need to get through the final because for this exam I really just had no motivation to study so I just need to um take the final way more serious two weeks to the final two weeks to study two weeks to bang it out so whatever can't be mad can't like cry about it like it's already done so whatever